Hello everybody, welcome to the World Championship Round 1 Group N match between Ivan Kolin with his Orcs up against Call Troop with his Humans. Call Troop of course had the great underdog story from the Season 2 Finals, the forerunner to the World Championship. Uh, great to see him back, very cool um, painted team here is Humans, he's got 3 guard. A mighty blow, a tackle, as far as yeah, blitzes and ogre goes. He's got a block thrower and a block catcher. I tell you what, I'll put the um, put the colour rings on so you can see the thrower's purple, the catcher is cyan. Blitzer's yellow, blocker's orange. Looking at Ivan Collins' team, he's gone for a pretty standard team, actually 12 players, including the thrower, 3 re-rolls. They've both got three rerolls and an apple. Um, and he's gone four guard biggins, a mighty blow blitzer and a tackle blitzer. I'm really not a big fan of the tackle blitzer, honestly. I feel like its usage is so narrow. And if you're hitting a player with mighty blow, that's basically the same chance of injuring them as hitting, like, you know, if you're hitting a dodge player with mighty blow, that's basically the same chance of injuring them as if you're hitting them with tackle. And, you know, you generally you want to remove dodges and not just knock them over. Um, the humans got lots of players though, don't they? 14 players, including a halfling. How many skills? Ah, uh, don't know. You can count them. <laughs> Seven and six for the orcs. So yeah, tier two. Uh, interestingly, Ivan Colin won the toss, chose to kick. I, I believe you should mostly choose to receive, you know, just to get the... Uh, get the banging advantage I'm calling uh, you can't see his team name but from that I worked out he was Spanish he qualified through the NBB and call troop is of course Spanish from last time and he qualified from Liga Super Blitz there you go Feel that they need more guard? Yes, I wouldn't have the tackle. I would have had another guard for the humans. I would have even maybe not had the mighty blow as well. I feel like they want lots and lots of guard. Oh, wow, defensive ogre here. Running back with the ogre. Super interesting. The, the problem that the humans face here is that the Orcs inevitably at some point will base them up. And when that happens, it's bad. <laughs> it's really bad for the humans. <laughs> now they can use their movement to like, you know, try and get away. But uh, yeah, the Orcs are such a tough matchup for the humans. Um, it's, in the li it's in the pinned comment there. Christopher B, uh, in the document that I've made and the document Breaky T has made, uh, is all the information. Yeah. yeah, exactly, J5. Ah, hello, Keith. Exactly, J5. The, the problem with the tackle is it's so narrow, right? Like, it's so narrow in its application. It's, it's a bit more viable in tabletop because, uh, because Amazons exist on tabletop. And are very very powerful team and of course vampires also exist on tabletop and are very powerful team so you know tackle tackle gets a lot more on tabletop than it does in this environment <laughs> well pablo's uh no longer am i a swearer so there you go um, the thing with tackle is it does come in clutch when you need it yes I mean, it can do, it can do, it means you're 55% to knock down a bludger instead of 30%, but it's all, like, you know, which is like double, right, More, you know, nearly double, but also it only actually has an effect one in four times, right, so it's interesting. Why not two catches on humans? 
because uh, he valued the extra player more, I guess. Um, I think it's good having a thrower because you've got sure hands versus dancers and stuff. So the orcs there didn't do a lot, did they? Just uh, made the big long line of orcs makes it hard to get a blitz in, unless it's with the ogre, which the ogre might be blitzing here to break the line. Uh, three on one base over here, very sensible. Humans probably want to hold off engaging as much as they can, right? Just so that they can uh, they can make the breakthrough at the end. I don't think they particularly want to fight. <laughs> Swines in a trough. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, so elves and wrestle can just take. Yeah, elves can just take wrestle. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter against the songs, though, right? In a trough. Again, like, for the rats, you want to injure the rats, right? The thing with the rats, you want to injure rats. You don't want to just knock them down. So I, I really don't like... I think table toppers overrate tackle, honestly. And I think they also overrate tackle mighty blow as a stack. That's what I believe of table toppers. But there you go. <laughs> Very good, Davuma. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he basically has to blitz the uh, this guarder. Basically, this mighty blow basically has to blitz the guarder. The thing is, he ha you know, he's only got four guard, two of them over here, so he can't get the second guard into two dice. The ogre, which he would have really wanted. But the good thing is, these guys are so fast they can react as they have done. What did the human team? Yeah, not a lot. They just they just basically stayed where they were and engaged a little bit. The blitzer could blitz here and just push away the ogre, right? To not have to punch it. But the fact that he's put the guard in. Well, he hasn't put this in. He could, he could chain the ogre to there and then punch it up. But uh, we'll see what he does. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> <laughs> Again, like, the, the funny thing is, right, like, these people are good. They can think of things on their own. So, like, you know, like, he's just thought of it. Um, oh, he's blitzed from the wrong direction, though. Okay, well, I don't like blitzing from that direction. Had he blitzed from here, he could have pushed him into the ogre, pushed him up, and then he could have 2D'd the ogre with block, which would have been much better than blitzing that direction, I think. Um, gets an instant KO and Coral Troop is instantly used as Apothecary to keep his guard Blitzer in the game. <laughs> don't, don't be mean, J5. I didn't say that. <laughs> oh, he's putting this ogre in. The ogre biggin in does the rush to get the biggin in and makes it two dice that way so he was just covering the sideline with these two that's not what i implied at all at all j5 there was no implication there is no implication there was the, the reason that he blitzed him from that angle was so that this guard could get in. That was exactly what he was thinking. I, of course, immediately discounted the idea of making a rush because I would definitely fail said rush. However, he's got four rerolls. He would have probably put in the reroll to make the make that. And uh, you know, fair enough. Yeah, apart from kicking, I think he is playing well. Though the the, the interesting thing is, of course, he has all the advantages. Right, like this is. This is, the situation is very favourable for the Orcs. And it's quite easy for him to play well. Um, 
and it's it's harder for for core troop to play well because it, it just the team disparity is so great. I, I think personally, I think orcs are so much better than humans. But um, you know, core troop has proved us all wrong before. Last last well not last year earlier this year January this year. He had an incredible run, didn't he? Third in the Season 2 Finals. So maybe he'll keep it going. Yes, exactly. Super G, exactly. Receiving is very, 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 very strong. Very strong. The rule build for the World Cup. Um, I believe BB Jock. It's on the pinned document by Breaky T. I'm sure he'll have had the uh, showing off the build rules there as well. Well, <laughs> boy howdy, it's time to get rowdy. Use the reroll. Do you know what? I'm going to put the dice on. I'm not so sure about this, but I'm missing dice rolls being made myself let's display dice rolls see what it's like I used to have display dice rolls on then people told me to take it off but like it is a dice game isn't it it is a dice game and it reminds you it's a dice game if you can see the dice hello calcium There he goes, a few people are like, I've never <laughs> Dice rolls on and calls off. <laughs> Shirt copter. Ah, oh, yeah. So, well, I, I, let's not talk about whether there's a way to hit the ball or not. Let's see what Ivan Colin is thinking what he could be doing will he be making safe moves first will he be going for a ball sack will he just be looking to ratchet up the pressure there are a few tier 2's BB Jock there's uh, Wood Elves got a nice package Whoa, hey. and uh, Skaven and Necromantic are both fine and lots of people like Imperial Nobility for some reason. I think it's because they're crazy, but, you know, we'll see. <laughs> we'll, we'll find out, won't we, Geely? We'll find out. I, there, there was similar, like, last time, you know, at the Season 2 Finals, was a similar kind of thing, and... I really did consider a world alliance, um, but ultimately, I just thought they're a rubbish team, <laughs> so didn't want to play them. <laughs> um, oh, I wouldn't have done that. I'd have definitely got this guy out wide, right? This this guy, put him two. He could have gone one, two, three, four, five. Right, stood in front of there, and then you can free up one of these guys to go in that square where he was. Oh, another removal. Added to that stun as well, so... I say another removal, he appled the first KO, so... That's why he's got three players down here, the stuns and the... Uh... Yeah, very interesting. I'd have definitely kicked this guy out wide, and then used one of these two to come over and that as well. Uh, the humans that banged everyone out. Um, it was probably Call Troop, yeah. Call Troop really, uh, really had a great one run with the humans. I think they got an extra reroll off the kickoff. Yes, yeah, big biggins. No longer black orcs, are they? They are now. Uh, they are now biggins, and uh, 
yeah, movement five is pretty ridiculous on me. <laughs> Keep the troll. He's going back to the strength of the ogre and the guard players that have just stood up, but this is a fragile cage. <laughs> Wait, that's a cage, yeah, not really. Okay, use the dodge skill. <laughs> More of a fence than a cage. <laughs> he has the concept of a cage. Very good to me. So he does activate the ogre. Honestly, I would have been tempted not to activate the ogre there, right? Just to make sure I have a cage at all. But maybe Call Troop is feeling... You know, the desperation already, he had to activate it, he had to get the mighty blow hit in. And I guess it does, yeah, look, they're getting the power on that, he used him to shore up that cage side there. I mean, that is going to give him two dice in the ball, though. If he goes for it. I mean, many ways to get two dice in the ball here. Many, many, many ways to get two dice in the ball, so... Many, many, many. We'll see which of the many ways he chooses, if any, to get two dice on the ball. Um, also, of course, he could uh, not choose not to hit the ball, but I'd be, I'd be hitting the ball here personally. Yeah, he's got a little decoy, hasn't he? He's got the decoy here. But I mean, it also is an option as well, right? If he if he doesn't bite on this, then it becomes an option, so... Hello, Blue Max. Yep, it is, it is annoying. Um, it is annoying. I can't do anything about it. I do apologize. I do apologise. Got to lock them down. Yep. Yeah, well, he does. He does do some safe moves. Good turn ordering. You know, safe moves. Not rolling any dice. Every dice roll can uh, end your turn. Uh, Blue Max is not in my group. No, Steve. He is playing later today, though. Um, it will be the next live match, probably in two hours' time ish. Um, my group is Telephone, Truk, and Tumish. Oh. Okay, so we've got a GFI, a rush, sorry, a rush. Is he setting up some complex chain here? Oh, he's made a Kaz. That's much better than any complex chain you can do. No skill with human Lyman. So we've got uh, two removals, but just Lyman, so he's still got the good players. Should I keep these rings on or not? Maybe not, eh? I think they're a bit... Uh, They look a bit garish to have them on all the time. Elliot sadly will not be helping with the commentary, no Ali Raider. No. I mean, he is here in spirit. Elliot is here in spirit. <laughs> but, uh, you know, let's just, let's just keep him in our hearts. <laughs> he 
he's, he's not dead. <laughs> he, he's not dead. Okay, so we've got the guard there on the ball. Four, five, six, seven, eight. He'd have to dodge. My, my plan would have been to have uh, knocked over this guy and come around the bottom or chain somebody in somewhere else or knock over the ogre. But um, he's going to have to dodge as well. He's got four rerolls though. Makes the dodge. Makes the G rush. Makes the rush. Rolls the power. So there you go. He uses two rerolls in the same turn. That new rule set. Coming in very handy for Ivan Colin. I say new. It's four years old now. But you know, it's new for us. It's new for us that we're stuck on Blood Bowl 2, okay? And uh, yep, yeah, gets the AV break. And he didn't have one more player, right? He ha he's got this guy back. He's got these two over there. If he just had one more player to react to go for the pickup, that would have been great. But, um, you know, at least cover this catcher coming out. I mean, easy. Three plus away for the catcher to get it. I don't know where he's going to go <laughs> after he gets it. Oh, so he just does the uh, one dice block instead. Oh, my goodness. That is safer with a reroll and obviously has the massive upside of injuring an orc, potentially, which it does. And he apples it and it works. Flip me. Went for the 37.5% chance. Pays off. Unlucky to take the cars, but lucky for the apple to work. And that is a great use of an apple, isn't it? Much better than having a reserve lineman on the field. Getting that guard big and back. Makes the pickup, runs around. The tackler is here, so probably can be free to blitz him. Oh dear, oh dear, it's so hard, isn't it, for Cordrup here? Oh, that's his last reroll, though. It's turn five, so he's, he's somehow, you know, the... He's somehow surviving. I mean, this is a, this is what he does, isn't it? He battles and he survives, and somehow gets the job done. But uh, whether he can keep doing that for a whole extra tournament, and this guy is only strength two, right? It's a catcher, so any player can get two dice on him. Of course, Ivan Colin will be trying to get the blitzer on him. If possible. Yeah, you know, it's... Uh, this is very, very tricky for Coltrane. Very tricky indeed. Oh, so we start off with the the blitzer block. So maybe this is just to make a safe move of basing the ball. So even if things go wrong. Ball's based. Is this, is this a blitzer or a lineman? A lineman. No. So he's not trying to. Be, oh, maybe he's. Oh, maybe he's going to set up a chain or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh dear. Um, thanks, Odont, for that. <laughs> I'm going to choose neither. Okay. So then knocks down the scoring threat. All right, very sensible. I like this from uh, Ivan Colin. He's played very sensible, very safe. Safe, sensible blood ball play. Gets the power. That is actually massive. Without that power, 
he would have he would have been in a bit of trouble. I, I would have done this block before this block because by doing that block, if it's pow, then you're good for blitzing with the tackler. But on a push, the tackler would have been struggling to blitz. So then I would have wanted to change if I've got a push, I'd want to blitz with this guy. But rules of one on the GFI fails it and knocks himself out. Oh my god. <laughs> Double one, KOs himself. Top, 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 top play from Call Troop. <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> this is the pinnacle of human play. Just, uh, you know, have your opponent roll bad dice. And now, <laughs> the tackle is gone. And there's only one reroll for the orc, so it's not going to be easy for them to get this that ball down at all, whatever happens. Wow. That's crazy, isn't it? And if he'd blitzed with this guy, by the way, he wouldn't have had to make a GFI. <laughs> so maybe having tackle cost him there. <laughs> oh, oh, well, Cold Troop now tries a dodge, fails, and seriously injures himself. So he's lost a guard for the rest of the match. So that's not great, is it? And it looks like we've got, yep, an instant two dice on the ball. So, <laughs> that's pretty rough. That's mean, man. That was, uh, <laughs> that was crazy. It's always the hope that gets you, yeah. I like that, knocking away, don't follow, so you've got this guy closer to relevancy next turn. I think that's okay. Honestly, making this block first, you've got him. You've got the mighty blow down. You've also got him stranded further away, and it means that if you like re-roll pushes into a dub skull, you've at least had something happen. Will he just take the push? Is the question, or will he use his last re-roll looking for a pal here? for the follow, Spencerado. He's really mulling this over, isn't he? Like, it's a pretty big decision, only one reroll left. Got to think, how likely are you to get the stop? How likely is it? I mean, it's a 30% knockdown, right? If you reroll it. How likely are you to get the two turn TD? Well, he puts in the reroll, just gets pushes. He's also... Whether you jam it in or you push him back and he pushes him back. The thing is that gives him the extra turn of stall, right? If unless he gets something else back. Or BB not cheers. Just wanted to cheer. There you go. Yes, the time bank management is uh, not great. No, this is a lot of time bank on in the first half for him. But the first half is the harder half, right? Because he chose to kick. So he's removed a guard on defense. If he can uh, move a few more, then he can have an easier time on on offense in the second half. Quite quite nice on again. He, you know he he is taking a lot of time. Five and a half time bank gone in six turns is a lot of time bank, but very nice. You know he's got this nice shape here, stopping the. I mean it's, it is just a three plus through, but. It, st it stops it a little bit, right? It makes him a more roll an extra dice. Oh, he failed the dodge. Oh, I think, I think he had to dodge. Uh, so I guess he was going for the score, right? I guess he was going for the score. 
I like dodging this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then try to do something else. Um, because the problem is if you fail this, you just get surf, right? And it's actually not that easy for him to knock you over. So I would still try to dodge around with a ball so that I'm not getting knocked over, basically. Uh, it sounds like if it works. <laughs> but it's more likely to work, isn't it? He's just going to three dice surf him here. For sure. Faux oh, show. Oh, he blitzed him. Oh, there's no one else to hit. <laughs> there's, no, there's no one else to hit, so blitzing him was completely fine. <laughs> the only stood put, the only player standing. There's no conceding allowed, Chambatat, in the uh, in the World Championship. So there you go. I'll concede a touchdown. <laughs> oh, oh! Well. He did the pass, failed the catch. He did a six for the pass. He, he rolled a six to get the pass done. Passed the animal, so he rolled a six for the pass. And then failed the catch. But, three, three, three to score, unless things happen, but I mean, they might. Yeah, oh, he dodges. Oh, was this right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, he shouldn't have blitzed him, right? He should have blitzed this. Oh, no, maybe he should, yeah. Maybe he should have blitzed this guy and then stood above it. Because he needs, he needs, he can't score himself, right? If he goes back to pick it up, he can't score. So he needs somebody else to get the ball to him. Which can't be this one, so it's either this blitzer or this lineman. Oh my god, he failed the pickup and he nearly caught the bounce. That is outrageous. <laughs> that is outrageous. Um, but still, successful defence for the Orcs. Their tackler is still out. Rather funny. And uh, the humans are still on 11, so fair play to Call Troop. You know, he knew his team, he wanted the 11 players. One is a halfling, but still, he's he's still got 11 players for the second half. He's, he's deep rule of five. He still loves this setup. Oh, he made the pickup. Okay, sorry. I thought it was failed. <laughs> Did I uh, pick up and then just failed the handoff? And that looked to me like he failed the pickup and then fit, failed to catch the bounce, but never mind. I was obviously wrong. Sorry. Sorry everybody, fake news on that uh, pickup attempt. Five straight dodges fail for humans, that is pretty brutal. Yeah. Humans do need to roll well, don't they? It, it, you know. <laughs> Unfortunately for humans, they're not a great, they're not a great blood bowling race. And uh, they're at the mercy of three pluses and four pluses a lot of the time and they're going to have to you know, roll well, certainly versus Orcs Call Troop had three bench yeah. Yeah. thanks Keith thanks I'm trying my best yes that's true, one is a halfling I, I do tend to count halflings and um you know, gob halflings on human teams and goblins on orc teams, I kind of tend to count them as a half a player. Um, sorry, Yudlugar. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not a big fan of, of them. They're not like a real, not like a real, real player. Mr. Throw, too slow to even pick up the ball. Amazing. He can just go for a blitzer pickup bar. Probably should have gone a bit further in front, right? A bit, a bit more in front rather than just directly in front. You want a space, a space between 
your screen and the ball. At the moment, if he fails this pickup, it could bounce to him and bobble forward right in front of the humans. Whereas if he, if he had like a player here and a player here and fails to pick up, it would still be surrounded by his own players and not directly in the path of the humans. <laughs> oh, very good BB note. Yes, yes. Uh, if anybody doesn't know, <laughs> there's been eight weeks of fantasy football and uh, NFL fantasy football. Jack Bull has lost every single week um, after mocking, relentlessly mocking myself and Runbad our drafts and then Runbad and I are doing very well, thank you very much. And <laughs> Jack Bull has lost every time. It's been pretty hilarious. But, uh, you know, all part of the fun, isn't it? Jack Bull is from Texas. Yeah. It looks like he's going to GFI here with the uh, rush with Mr. Throw. He makes the rush. He makes the pick up. He hasn't blitzed yet, has he? Oh, the officious ref stunned a uh, big one. Okay, so he ended up. Like, I just like these two, like, an extra one out, right? Just, just these two are just a bit more out. I feel like everything would be a bit more solid. <laughs> yes, he did, yeah. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, that's part of the banter, isn't it? But, uh, yeah, it was great. <laughs> it was very, that was very funny, yes, BP, no. <laughs> And, like, I think, I think Runbad's, like, 1-6 lost 2 or something. <laughs> it's great. I mean, the the Jack Bull, the Jack Bull fantasy football draft day streams are great entertainment. Can't uh, can't argue with that. Okay, so it looks like the humans are going full contact here instantly. Kind of what I expected the orcs to do. I expected the orcs to do it to basically us. <laughs> So there's two ways, right? You, you've got pressure or cover. If you pressure like the ball, then you've got more chance of turning them over and scoring on their drive. If like you just cover their scoring threat, then you've got more chance of defending the touchdown, but less chance of getting the touchdown yourself. So like, you know, I, I liked the Orcs going in, creating pressure to try and get that turnover score, because I would have expected Honestly, if I was the Orcs to end the half one nil up, I would have I would have been looking that quite early, quite early on as the Orcs. I'd be looking to have ended that half one nil up. Um, with this, I think you know the humans are feeling the pressure and they're just trying to get lucky and hopes and make something happens with this early pressure because this is very high risk, very high risk. But it is high reward, um, and I guess that's it, right? They need that high reward because it's such a bad racial matchup for the humans. It's a lovely pal. And a removal. It's funny how much of Blood Bowl's about the removals, isn't it? I'm instantly regretting my uh my elf choice <laughs> and thinking I should have just gone lizards or necromantic to get removals but never mind too late now Punter, there is Breaky T has has a spreadsheet as well, so there there is there is double there is double spreadsheet available. So you can you can you know there's two there's two spreadsheets. Breaky T's has all the information, and mine has the uh, 
<laughs> yes, J5, but he said he doesn't mind me saying breaky T, so I feel happy about that. I put it on for the, the days games, um, punter. And then once I put it on for the days games, then I can just copy paste them later on, like, you know, subsequent rounds. Well, the uh, Orcs, Ivan Colin, did a bit of beating off of the humans, and he's managed to, uh, you know, disconnect the bulk of his forces. Got a cage in the centre. No guard, really, though, to speak of there. He's got guard on either end. No guard in the middle. But it's pretty difficult for the humans to do a lot, isn't it? He could surf a big one, um, not easily. Not easily. <laughs> Breaky T sounds like a nineties rapper. He does, doesn't he? <laughs> he does. Maybe, maybe that's what. That's why I thought it was Breaky T. <laughs> it could be a Simpsons rapper. <laughs> oh no, the halfling, he's got dodge. Fails, doesn't die though. There does seem a lot of orcs today, yes, yeah, there does seem an awful lot of orcs playing. playing today. <laughs> Five out of ten teams are orcs today. Yeah, lots of orcs. Yes, Pablo's. Yes, I think this is the problem. They like you know people ask me, what do I do with? Uh, humans against orcs and like I I don't know the answer like I just I just don't know what the answer is you've just got to do anything you can right you just got to try your hardest and hope hope something works like it's just it's just so horrible <laughs> I don't know what the answer is <laughs> Um, I'm surprised there were nine orcs. Yeah, n nine orcs out of sixty-four. I was surprised there were that many orcs. I would have expected more lizard men and less orcs because, yeah, the orcs didn't. You know, the orcs are tier one, right? Um, so I would have def definitely taken lizards, and I would have expected anybody who wanted to take orcs to take lizards instead. So yeah, interesting that uh, I was surprised. Tomorrow is a ridiculous amount. Yeah, eleven games. I was thinking there might be like you know eleven or uh, eleven or twelve games at the weekends, but bizarrely, it's just all on Tuesday for some reason. Eleven games on Tuesday. Uh, Thirty of the thirty-two games have been scheduled for round one. Um, so that that spreadsheet there is uh, pretty much good for most of the matches. Yeah, just weather the storm. Like it's it's. Uh, it's so it's so tough. Like that's all you have to do. You just have to weather the storm. Yeah, you just have to. Like, I mean, you just play good blood ball, right? You've just got to make the blocks that you can, um, and just hope it works out for you. Hope hope the orcs fail something critical, make a dumb mistake. You know, like people make dumb mistakes, right? Even call will will, will you know misclick or you know something like that. Mis misread the board. Do an unintentional dodge, you know, things like that. <laughs> yeah, I think there were only two human teams. Um, uh, yeah, that was different. The World Cup 2 was very different. Uh, I was on Cup 2, yeah. That was very different. Very different. Uh, I did think humans were very strong in that rule set. And um, funnily enough. <laughs>
You call Drew in, mate. Come on, man. You dudes don't dodge. <laughs> Just give it up. Oh, well, there's a very nice blitz here. Will he be going for it? Maybe. Yeah, lovely, lovely blitz, right? He gets to hit the mighty blow, the mighty blow of his own, and then Chin pushes this guy into here. That gives him more blocks. All about maximizing blocks. Blood Bowl is all about two dice blocks. The numbers game. I feel like following here is good. And um, we don't really need a tight cage with so few humans. <laughs> Are you still going up into a tight cage? He has to reroll the double skull here. Um, on, on this big and block. I would have done this big and block first to make sure I knew. You know, just so if I'd used my reroll. Because he's. He, I don't. I guess he doesn't have to block this, does he? So maybe he's doing these blocks, and then he's not going to reroll them if they fail, and then he's still got this guy for sure. But like, you have to reroll this if it fails, which it does. <laughs> there he gets the power. But I mean, I think you know, just if he just kept the ball like diagonally back one, then he just doesn't have to reroll it, right? He could have. I think he could have made it a safer cage. But in the end, he, he made himself, he had to re-roll that if it was a dub skull. Oh, both down. But yeah, he can just keep, he can just keep knocking over the humans here and it's going to be very difficult for the humans to produce anything. Uh, no, to me, it's all about removing players. It's, it's all a numbers game. The best, it's all about putting, well, so this is the thing, right? Blood Bowl is all about putting your players in the right squares. And the best square is off the pitch. <laughs> there you go. The best square to put your opponents in. Seven AM game on Monday morning. I'll definitely make it, Hunter. I'm a hundred percent committed to. Uh... Oh, one in nine for the ogre. Doesn't think about re-rolling it. Chaos, chaos the orc. And you know he's he's got some players in the way, but this this halfling's getting surfed or mighty blowed or something. A blockful block first. <laughs> That's because you besmirch Imperial ability, Christopher Bill. Sorry, Blue Max. <laughs> oh, Kaz, it did get Mighty Blowed. Look, Mighty Blow better than Tackle. See, ultimately, this this is the thing, right? Just roll powers anyway, and then your Mighty Blow means that you break AV and uh, cast them. I mean, okay, it didn't actually have any effect, but it could have done. <laughs> Dimmy, Dimmy's a very good mod most of the time, Jay. <laughs> and a lovely, handsome man. Oh, it follows. 
I feel like I wouldn't have followed here, right? Because he doesn't he doesn't need to. Like it's maybe a bit better to follow. But also you don't really need to, so I'd have like let him have that a little bit. <laughs> Only three turns left after this. Maybe he should have been trying to get a little bit further forward here. Maybe a lack of urgency in the drive. Have to get that penetration to get forward. <laughs> of course Pablo's, but I'm, I'm on the side of my evil. <laughs> so of course, my evil was right. <laughs> what I like more is right. It, this is how Blood Bowl works, right? Until we get, until we get Blood Bowl Stockfish, the only thing we have is people's inane opinions. <laughs> and that's mine. <laughs> yeah, the ogre got... I mean, he moved into a... He based up, didn't he? Got knocked over. And he got, you know, knocked himself over and has been sidelined pretty much for most of the drive, yeah. But did make a removal. He's getting some blocks back, his call troop. But he doesn't have anything in the way now, does he? The problem here is... The orcs can just move straight up the pitch at this point in time. So yep, he does make he does succeed a dodge and he gets something in the way. But there's a lot of options for Ivan Colin and let's see what he does here. I feel like he can make a very strong cage downfield. The ogre is just about relevant again. He hasn't rolled well, no. He, ro he rolled well uh, like one turn, right? But yeah, apart from that, he hasn't had good dice. Hmm, so I don't mind this block. The problem is it gives you this hit, but it takes your guard away from here, and I guess you could block him and then chain him up or something, I don't know. The problem now is you're not powering him. <laughs> so... <laughs> this has all gone a bit wrong. This has all gone a bit wrong with it doing that. I think what he had to do was probably just blitz the tackle there. See if he powers him and if he powers him, move the cage up. It is a little bit calcium, but I think I'm doing well enough, right? I I think I'm doing well enough. Hello, Miss Feltree. Yep, the orcs are... Uh, been pretty dominant, though they they're not they're not beating them. I mean it is nil nil. The Orcs are currently not in scoring range. They've got two turns left, so they don't have to be in scoring range yet, but they're not really getting the penetration despite getting the removals. So, you know, maybe there'll be some heroics from Call Trip to salvage the draw. Beating them nil nil, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know what you mean, of course. <laughs> yes, but I mean the you know look the the the, <laughs> the Mister Page Seven Mighty Blow build is number one hilarious. I think that's. That's the thing that you've got to consider, is just how absolutely hilarious the build is. And what he loses in any potential, um, you know, win rate 
is made up by how completely hilarious his team is. So, you know, can't fault him for that. So there you go, the Orcs creep forward into the square, but look at that time bank, 38 seconds. This was probably not a turn to use up any time bank, and he is eating into it with his extra block as well. The animations running the time down to 29 seconds. Cold Troop still hasn't used a single second of his time bank. Would it have helped him if he had? Maybe, right? Maybe there were some turns where if he'd thought a little bit longer he could have come up with a better answer. But I don't think so. I think it's been pretty pretty simple for the humans. Just hard, right? It's just been a hard game for them. They're, uh, they're just outmatched by the Orcs. Puts in the reroll there for the... Well, tries to put in the reroll for the Bonehead. Really wanted the Ogre relevant here. Now, how does he stop next turn? This is brutal, isn't it? This is really, really horrible for him now. Well, it was just 1-1, one, one, wasn't it? It wasn't triple one, it was double one. <laughs> yes, J5, yeah, I mean, that would have been a completely reasonable thing. Oh, let's go on ladder. But uh, in the world championships, you've got to uh, you've got to do your best. Yeah, the countdown timer bug is is somewhat obnoxious. Yeah. Yep. There's a triple one and a two. Oh yeah, if you if you count this double one and then the skull and both down. Oh, fails a dodge. Uses a reroll, fails. So double two there. And boy howdy, it's time to get rowdy. This should be a very easy turn to get a lot of stuff forward. A very safe cage, very far forward. Ogre completely out of range, that's why he'd like he had to get him moving back next turn now. He can just put the ball in one of these three, well in fact one of these two, and then the Ogre can't even touch him. If he puts one in a bit of a screen, it's obviously going to be hard for him to touch him, but he wants the Mr. Throw as far forward as possible here. As safe as possible. He should probably be going quicker than this because if he runs out of time, that's it. He'll just be out of out of range at the moment. So he really needs to get his uh, thinking cap on and start moving some players <laughs> rapidly. Down a minute already. Oh boy, what a what a what a way to lose this will be if he does. There is no OT in the group stage now. No, these are just normal matches. Oh, he gets the one in nine. No knockdown there. Oh my god, dude, you've got to play faster. This is killing me. I'm getting anxiety from this. <laughs> you have to get Mr. Throw into range. You have to. I like this more than the surf here, honestly. Yeah, push these guys out of the way. Because you have to get forward. Oh. <laughs> He's five seconds, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're in the last 29 seconds. <laughs> he has to do the serve first. Because he was in the way of Mr. Throw. He's got 16 seconds left. 12. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's moving the other guy. Oh. Okay, he just did it. Oh my god. Wow. 
Wow! <laughs> that was absolutely crazy. <laughs> Wow, that was way more intense than it had any right to be. Oh, his ogre is stupid again. He really has had bad dice. Um, has call troop. <sighs> no compassion for time banks for Lunkers. <laughs> well. He tried the uphill, make something happen. It didn't. The Orcs are probably going to win 1-0. Oh no, it's turn 16. Wait. No, it's not. It, it was their drive. It's their, it was their drive. They're probably going to win 1-0. There is a chance of uh, pushing the catcher. Here, there is a catcher. So there's a chance of pushing the catcher. There is also a chance of a timeout. But... Almost certainly. It's not over. How many? Three, six, seven, eight players. Eight players. Quick snap. Timeout. There is definitely chances. But yeah, the fling. The fling is cast. So the fling is definitely not going to score. Wait. Yeah, yeah. There he is. Fling was cast. But, you know, the catcher could score. I won't talk about how I'd set up this one turn. <laughs> but uh, trust me, it's brilliant. <laughs> Again, look, I'm sure everybody here will know how to do things and I wouldn't be giving any games away, but you know, I want I want no allegations. I could imagine, you know, if somebody said something and then somebody scored exactly the way that it had been said, I'd kind of feel bad about it. You know, they, some people, the people would feel bad about it. So he, he got solid defense, okay. Uh, what I would have done, I would have put the catcher here and then blitz this guy to push him forward. And then that way, if you get the quick snap, you could just push him directly in, right? So I'd have given myself the quick snap chance as well is what I would have done like you could understand somebody being you know not very happy if if somebody scored a one turn in you know after, after not using any time bank if Cold Troop suddenly used five minutes of time bank and then got a one turner you could imagine people uh, not being over the moon about it so I am trying to not say much I don't know, I guess he thought so this defense was solid. Makes the pass, so there's still a chance. Oh my god, the ogre's stupid again. Now I don't think there's any chance. Is there? This guy can run... Oh, no. Okay, don't say anything. Don't say anything, Jim. I don't think there's any chance here. No, there is. There is still a chance. There is still a chance. There is still a chance. It's not cooked. There is still a chance. Okay. It is now. This guy could have dodged, run around to here. And then... This guy could have double dodged and run around to there and then he could have blocked him into him oh no he didn't need another player he needed another player it was cooked he needed an extra player errata errata he needed an extra player but if he could have filled that square as well then he could have uh, he could have pushed him there and then the last hit would have worked <laughs> Anyway, um, that is the finish. Congratulations, Ivan Colin wins 1-0 with his Orcs up against Call Troops Humans. Commiserations, Call Troop. I had it right. Thanks, Jay Leave. And uh, no apologies to Dimmy G. And, 
Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.